Hi, this is Lance Culver, and this is going to be a tie flow tutorial. In this video, I will set up a tie actor using tie binds to simulate a set of caster wheels, and it's super easy. This isn't my model, so I can't provide it to you, and I downloaded a few of them, so I'm not exactly sure which one this was, but I know which site it came from, and I'll put a link in the description. And anyway, we'll get started by going over to the Create tab over to Helpers. I click on this drop down, select tie flow, and create two tie binds. I'm going to take one and align it to this wheel. And the other I'm going to align to this bracket. And next I'm going to select this upper tie bind here. For the top one I'm going to select this top plate here. And for the bottom one I'm going to select this bracket. And then I'll apply a tie bind settings. Reduce the size, turn off the show icon, and rotate it down 90 degrees. Alright, next, for this tie bind, for the top bone, I'll select this bracket, and for the bottom on this wheel, and I'll apply a tie bind settings. Reduce the size and turn off the icon. Next, I'll create a tie actor. And go ahead and align it to the to the caster. And then pick both of these tie binds. Okay, next I'm going to come over here to create down to helpers and create a point. And create a copy of it and drag it over and then select both of them. Hold shift and create two more copies. Create a box. Just lift it up here. All right. I'm going to make one more copy of this point helper. I'm going to use these to spawn the casters in TyFlow. So I'll create TyFlow. Go ahead and open the editor. Drag out a birth operator on frame zero, four particles, the position object. I select the four points, choose add selected, and under location, choose pivots. Next, an actor. I'm going to change this display to geometry. And the actor will select the actor helper. Next a physx shape and a physx bind. And for the bind type we'll choose tie actor binds. I want to separate these three components. And there's a few ways that could be done but for me the simplest is to just add a tie properties modifier and then add a channel called top plate. Select the wheel and do the same thing. Add a tie properties, uh, name this channel wheel. Now I can grab those from inside tie flow using a property test with a test type of custom float. And if it's equal to the same value that was in the tie properties, then tie flow will recognize that particle and send each of them into a new event. I'll make a copy of this property test. I'm going to change it to top plate. I'm also going to place each of these particles on their own simulation group. I need to also select tie flow, come down under the physics rollout, and enable some of these simulation groups. Okay, next I'm going to drop a birth objects into a new event and pick the box. Maybe I'll reduce the size of it a little bit here.
right on. Next, I will make it a physics shape. And put it on a simulation group. Okay, now down here under this top plate event, I will add a, another physics bind. And I will select the simulation group that this one was on, which is five. Go ahead and rename these. So I'm going to drag the timeline forward some and select this point. Enable auto key. Drag it over. And slide it a little further. Just move this around a little bit. Alright, so now. Add a little mass to this base, maybe 50. Add a fine target. Pick the point. Change the sample to pivot. And I also have these other objects. Just, to, just as a demonstration. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If there was any part of it that you're having problems with or you didn't understand, feel free to leave a comment. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would be super cool. But until next time, have a great day. Take care. Thanks again. See ya.